I measure my agility by running figure eights around cones I set down in minefields. The obsessive art buyers are waiting for me to slip up so they can purchase my art after I die and make more money than Purdue Pharma. I went to the library to learn that the U.S. Congress serves as the voice of the people and listen for my tone in the sound waves. My voice box delivers diminutive vibrations that expand before they embed themselves into the eye teeth of vampires. A toddler ties a fish hook to the end of a string and catches bloody carcasses for the burdened bloodsuckers. I use a saucepan manufactured in 1960 to make gravy and feed the hungry ghouls with the ladle I purchased for $1.97 at the hardware store. I stain my incisors with coffee and set up multiple deep scale cleaning appointments with the dental hygienist. My teeth are free from tartar, but not whiter, and I drink a jug of bleach to sparkle. The fish hook wielding toddler is not a killer because the carcasses she's catching are already dead. I work tirelessly to improve the skill of originality, and her ladyship labors diligently to develop the art of scaling. Mount Sinai is my motherland because it is the place where God dictated the whole Torah to Moses. Is random negligence careless or choosy? I paint over my windows with cadmium lemon because it is bright and opaque. Her ladyship later applies for a position as a pottery baker because she likes the way working kilns smell. Now I measure my quickness by throwing peppermint oil on a hornet's nest. I have an attitude of reverence towards my teachers because they drive me to chop my artwork into smaller pieces so I can see what is real, and what is bunk. I drink 12 ounces of diet soda when I need to stay awake for jobs like trimming the Christmas tree, organizing the junk drawer, and polishing the flying saucer. I shred my utility bills and use the confetti for kindling. Am I using a cliche if I describe my artistic practice as a vocation? Will you think I am witty if I say all the things I wish I had said in a row? I watched a vampire and hornet 
meander their way between the xyloid pillars, carrying buckets of vivid yellow paint and whistling sunshine.